YouTube tips from Papa Texas. The main thing I came on here to say was, you know, right now, if you're not interested in tips on YouTube, don't watch. If you are, stick with me. I, I got something to say. I'm answering comments on videos and I'm like three and two videos behind. I'm having a, I, I'm trying to catch up. That's my biggest holdup. Only 5% of my viewers are subscribed to me, but I have a very small percentage that leave comments versus watches my videos. But I'm a kind guy. I answer comments. I watch your videos are the ones that comment to me and it takes time and I watch through your video I come check you out see if you have a new one if you don't I was lucky <laughs> sometimes I go back and look at an older one you know how it is it's, a, it's the YouTube stuff YouTube's awesome I love our community but what I really want to say is your about page I'm real big on watching your video and checking you out and all this kind of stuff and hit on that about and too many of y'all have nothing or it says Google it's like well where do you live what's your can you tell me what your channel is about so what I'm asking is why don't you go to your page and put a little bit of time into it and write up a little something it's like a resume a resume doesn't get you a job it gets you in the door to do an interview so First thing, if you're trying to grow your channel, seriously, fix your about page. Say something in there, the meat of what your channel's about, maybe where you're from, or a couple things that'll connect you with some other people. It'll help you out. Again, click off if you don't want to hear this stuff. I'm still here. I got a couple more things I'm going to rant about. At least leave people a heart or something to let them know your co their comment meant something. They came and watched your video. Probably watched your advertisement if you advertise. Respect them. Respect them. TubeBuddy. Okay, I had TubeBuddy on there for free and I got tired of it and took it off. But you know what? I brought it back on and then I paid for the services because of how my channel's going. And I really appreciate the extra things that I can do. I can click in there and comments and say, let me see the comments that I have not replied to. Bam, and all these things come up. All right, I got some filters on there. I have to approve you before you can leave a comment on my channel that's viewable. I can see it behind the scenes, but it's viewable. But if you have a video that's real old and somebody comments and they're not approved by you, it's gonna go ahead and float it out there. I didn't know that till more recent. But you know what? I go back to a video from six months ago and there's comments on there that I've never seen. I can't do that to every video. I got 400. <laughs> I don't know how many videos I have. I have a lot of videos out there. Yeah, I do. I was told that when you leave a description or your title, you should speak your title at the beginning of your video. That's why my videos are starting to turn a little different. And you should type it in as the first line of your description. It helps you on YouTube. It helps lift you up into there. The first time... That I truly sat back and we're gonna talk about tags in just a second the first time I truly sat back and really put my all into everything I need to do using TubeBuddy the video I did that on is it like 418 thousand views because in the tags we're talking about tags now you can put up to 500 characters it includes the the space between your words I thought of every word and I searched and everything else what I wanted to put in that video and it worked. It worked. 
I saw these big video views on a channel and mine was at the end and people were going to it. Now mine's bigger than theirs. Isn't that cool? Boy, I need about 20 of those breakaway videos. <laughs> residual, residual income. You know what? You spend about an hour on a video. You spend your hour or whatever editing a video and put it out there. And if you do a good enough job, not just on the video, but all the behind the scenes stuff, the tags, the title, everything that like TubeBuddy tells you to do, and it takes off, and then you start making money every single month. That's called residual, I think. Residual, not residual, residual. And so now, on like that one video, well, I've got others too, but on that one video, I sit back and every month I have money sent to my account. Nice. I went back and worked on other videos that in the past, I didn't put a lot of tags into them. I didn't do a lot of the things that I'm starting to do now they've picked up they've, they've started churning a little bit more and when I did that it was because Kevin's Adventures did it and it changed his channel views I mean I get like 3,500, 4,000 views a day on my channel and uh, it boosted up to that once I did that I went back and just made sure uh, the cooking ones are what's going. So that's the only ones I did that to. I have not done it to the others. It takes a lot of work. It does. So if you're a newer channel, start it from the beginning. Seriously. If you don't monetize, you say, eh, I'm a small channel, I don't monetize. There's going to be a possible video that hits and takes off, and you lost all that money. So you got to think about things like that. I'm only on here because I was going to talk about the about. Go back and add something to your about. You know, leave a comment down below and say, Papa, I didn't have anything on my about. I went over there and I fixed it up for you. I'm going to come over there and read it. I will. And for all you people, prep for it and others that you just watch videos. And now, some of y'all start to say, you know what, I'm fixing to make my first video on YouTube. That's awesome. I support you. I support the new beginnings. I'm only two years old this month. That's right. That I have been posting videos on YouTube. I got an older channel that the camera was facing that way. Two years ago, I started this one. The camera faces this way. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided to show you our life, our true life, what we do every day. Uh, you do a how-to. I went out there and I said, I'm going to change, i got to add a new drain on the refrigerator to the RV. I make a video of it. How-to videos are awesome and get a lot of views. Do that. Right now, I'm working on a pump. <laughs> <laughs> a new pump for the pool above ground pool of course I I don't know if it'll turn out or not or I put it on or not but I'm gonna make a video about it because I had some problems got them fixed out I'm gonna help others out that's how I'm gonna do that give me a second I'll think of one more helpful tip about YouTube from Papa Papa Texas be back in a sec. Oh, what would that one be? Go find channels that have the same kind of output that you do. The, uh, did I say that right? The same, the, the, the same kind of videos you make. You know, Chris Grimes, uh, Bubba's Garage TV. You, you talk about Jeeps and, and Jeep parts and stuff, find him and connect to him. 
You doing bush crafting? Connect to the bush crafters. Cooking? Connect to the cookers. Just smokers? Connect to the smokers. Connect to the community and the group that you're doing and connect with them and y'all start interacting and collaborating and helping each other out. That's what it's all about. That's the initial start of everything to pop up. Don't forget about the ones that support you, comment to you to let you know they're there or they're just commenting and they don't make videos. They're just as important as the others and they become your friends just like the others. Right, Tony? I don't know how long this is or what I do. I just, I, I really, truly just came on here to talk about the about page. That is the most important thing you should know on this. And it was at the beginning because not everybody makes it to the end. You know? <clears throat> I got videos that are for YouTube. I got videos that are for the community. This one's for the community. Whatever happens to it, happens to it. But that's just some tips. And like I said, I have a tips playlist, and so is Dark Matter. I'm going to leave a link down to Dark Matter. Go check him out. Go to his playlist about <clears throat> his YouTube tips or something like that. He has way more in-depth things than me. Um, I text him when I need to. We talk because he's my go-to. I started having a problem. Someone comes to me and they say, hey, I got this question and stuff. Uh, I, I can't answer it. Go dark matter. So that's all I can say. So dark. Description or <laughs> the links down below will say dark matter. He's not that scary. He's just dark matter. And I know how he got that name. All right. <laughs> I don't even know why. Oh yeah, it's about the about. Get you about on there. Even if you don't make videos, put you an about out there because when I'm new to you and coming to you, I'm, I want to learn a little bit more about you, especially if you don't make videos. I go to your about. Where, where do you, you know, you live in Texas? You like gardening? You can make an about page and not even have a video. You can hit a thousand subscribers and not even make a video. People have done it. A lot of people. <laughs> all right. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to go back in there and go back to a couple videos back and watch some videos, answer comments, get through all that kind of stuff. We're going to be rolling. It's Papa. <laughs> Papa, Texas. See ya.